Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to create this beautiful bronze makeup look with gorgeous glowing skin. I've kept the makeup fairly minimal so that it's easy to wear during the summer months. Alright, let's begin this look. I'm starting off with Charlotte Tilbury's Flawless Filter, which helps to literally create a filter effect on the skin as if you were using an Instagram filter. It also provides a ton of glow to the skin, which is why I'm using it as a base. I'm using a damp beauty blender to really press the product into the skin. Next, I'm going in with this Tinted Moisturizer by NARS. It is honestly my all-time favorite tinted moisturizer. I never gravitate towards other ones anymore. Sometimes I use it in place of foundation as well. It gives my skin such a beautiful glow, but it also provides a decent amount of coverage. I'm using a dense foundation brush to really push the product into the skin. You could use a damp beauty blender instead, but I find that you get more coverage using a foundation brush. I'm now going in with the Born This Way Concealer by Too Faced. This concealer is pretty full coverage, which is why I'm using it to highlight the skin as well as cover certain areas on the face. I'm focusing on the areas of my face that I want to highlight, so areas like the cupid's bow, bridge of the nose, under the brow bone. It's really going to help bring these areas of the face forward and emphasize them. Feel free to switch up your makeup tools as you're blending product, depending on the level of coverage that you want. So I was finding it slightly hard to blend out the concealer using the foundation brush, so I switched over to the Beauty Blender. Moving on to contour, I'm now going in with this Makeup Forever palette, and I'm using the darkest shade. I'm just going to slightly shape my face. This product is actually pretty light in coverage, so it's not going to give a very definite contour. I'm focusing on areas that I want to recede on the face. So by doing these techniques, you're actually slimming as well as lifting your face. I really like to take my time with my nose contour because I want it to turn out pretty realistic. Who doesn't love a great nose contour? Make sure when you're doing your nose contour that you're bringing the product all the way up to the brow bone. This makes the contour look a lot more realistic. So here I'm switching out my tools again using the Beauty Blender. This is going to really help to avoid any harsh edges when you're blending out your contour. Here I'm going in with one of my favorite products that I've been loving lately. This is the Sheer Bronze Liquid Bronzer by Iconic Beauty. This gives your skin a natural tanned effect. And I'm actually applying product across the tip of the nose because when we naturally tan in the sun, we always get tanned right across the center of the face. So for your makeup to have longevity, anytime you apply a cream product, it's best to set it with a powder in order to lock the product in and make it last longer. So I'm going in with a translucent powder to the areas that we highlighted on the face, and I'm using a darker toned powder to the areas that we contoured. Here I'm just filling in my eyebrows using Charlotte Tilbury's new eyebrow pencil. I have to say this brow pencil is incredible. I actually did not have pretty high hopes for it, but it is amazing. I actually think I prefer it better than my Anastasia Beverly Hills pencil, but I still use that one as well. I also applied brow gel off camera to lock in the product. So what kind of bronze tutorial would this be if we didn't go in with an actual bronzer? So here I'm using Casino by NARS and I'm applying this product to all the high points of the face where you would naturally tan in the sun. As you can tell from this tutorial, I like to layer my products. This really helps to make the makeup last really long and it also makes the makeup appear more vibrant. So if you're applying multiple layers of different types of products, it's gonna appear a lot more on the face than if you were just applying one of those products. I'm taking the same bronzer shade and I'm applying it to my crease with an eyeshadow brush. I like to do this technique with other looks as well. So instead of using an actual eyeshadow, I like to use the bronzer shade because it looks a lot more natural on the face. Here I'm just going in with a really light shimmer shade and I'm using this all over my lid. I'm also going to put some of the product in the inner corners of my eyes as well. This is just going to help to really brighten the look and kind of change it up instead of having like a bronze color all over the skin. I'm going in with a skin highlight and of course again I'm using a bronzy shade. This also has a bit of pink to it which really gives a beautiful glow to the skin. So I'm applying this product to my cheekbones, to the bridge of my nose and just any areas that I want to highlight. 
I ended up switching over to a more precise brush just to make sure that the application of the product is exactly where I want it to be. Don't be afraid to keep applying product until you're really happy with your look. So here I'm just going in with a blush by NARS just to kind of enhance my cheeks a little bit more. I'm lining my lips with a nudish brown lip pencil to stick to the theme of this look, slightly over drawing my lip line just to create a fuller lip. I went in with a lip gloss that's slightly lighter than the color of my lips just to make my lips appear a bit fuller. But then I changed my mind and decided to add a second lip gloss to the mix and this has a beautiful metallic sheen to it, kind of giving me a bit of 90s vibes. So here is the final look. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm really happy with the way it turned out. It actually looks a little bit more natural on camera than it did in person, but I'm still really happy with the look. If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!